Hey everyone, Zach here, and welcome to the very first lesson of this new series, an introduction to Unreal Engine. In this video, we will install Epic Launcher and Unreal 4.22. If you already have the launcher installed but not the engine, you can skip ahead. A timestamp will be in the description below. If you have both installed, go ahead and move on to the next video in this series. If you don't have either installed, open up a web browser of your choice and let's get started. All right, so welcome to the main part of the lesson. If you already have Epic Launcher installed on your computer because say you play Metro or Fortnite, you can skip this step and join us for the engine installation later in this video. There should be a link in the description to that uh, portion of this video. If you don't have Epic Launcher already installed, go to unrealengine.com or a search engine of your choice and search for Unreal Engine. It'll bring you to this page. Once you're here, go to Downloads and it will ask you to make an account. And if you already have an account, just click sign in. If not, go ahead and make your account now. Once you've signed in or have made an account, it will bring you to this page. And you'll have two options. You can choose between Game Developer or Enterprise. For the length of this tutorial, we'll be using the Game Developer option. So make sure Game Developer is selected and click Proceed to Download. It should automatically detect what system you are using. So if you're on a Windows system like I am, it'll automatically detect that and it will download the Windows version. If it doesn't detect it, you can click either of these two to get the correct version. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and install it. And it will give you all that information. Go ahead and click Run and Install. Pause the video at this point, go ahead and install it. And once that's done, join me inside the launcher. You'll have to sign into your account again once you first open up the Epic Launcher. So once you've signed into the Epic Launcher, hopefully it'll bring you directly into the Unreal tab. If it doesn't, select Unreal from the left hand side. Now this is a very important tab. If you want to know what changes are coming to the engine, you can click Roadmap and it'll bring you to their page where it lists the changes coming and features that you might not know are already in the engine. If you're looking for help, I recommend the forums, the answer hub, or the YouTube link. Each of these will have different forms of help. Where on the forum and answer hubs, you can post up questions. On YouTube, you'll find various tutorials. I recommend taking a stroll through here, seeing what there is, and learning more about the engine in your own time. I'll include links to all three of these, by the way, or sorry, to the answer hub, to the forums, and to the roadmap. If you're looking for tutorials put out or recommended by Epic, they are tutorials on the Learn page. I do recommend also going to the documentation and the community wiki. In later lessons, I'll be linking directly to these so you can get further information about some of the assets and tools that we'll be using throughout this series. Next, we have our Marketplace. And every month, at the start of the month, they release free content. So as you can see, there's new free content out that came out today today being July the 1st, and there's also permanently free content that's updated regularly. This is a good way to build up your asset library and get custom assets or tools that might be useful in your game development projects. Now finally, and most importantly, is the library button. Inside the library, you will find your engines, or where you can install your engines, your projects, and a list of your assets. As you can see, I have multiple versions of the engine installed. You can have more than one version installed, and you'll notice under some it says Installed Plugins. These will list the plugins to that engine that I have installed, but you might not already have anything installed here. So how do you go about installing your engine? You do so by clicking Engine Version, and you notice it pops up this gray one here, and this is the most recent version that I do not have installed. Now, you'll want to set it to 4.22.3. Because I already have it installed, it's not going to give me that option. 
And if it doesn't give you that option, off the bat, just click this and scroll through to find the most recent version, which again should be 4.22.3. Once that's done, click this install button. It will take a little bit for it to install and it might ask you to install Microsoft Visual Studio. If it does, do go ahead and install that option. That said, that brings us to the end of the tutorial for this part. In the next video, what we will do is we'll create our first project and go over the user interface. If you've liked this video, go ahead and hit that like button down below. And make sure to hit that subscribe and notify icon so you know when the next video is out. That said, I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial and I hope that you have a wonderful day.